four years ago, when I started gathering small baby berry plants from different nurseries and tending to them, um, this was mainly in part because my boys love berries. They're young, and I thought, wow, as they get older, this is really going to cost a lot of money to keep buying berries the way they're eating them. So I started planting these baby berry plants. Now these are blueberry plants. I've lost the stickers along the way, so I have no idea what variety are there, but they're, they're a mix of different varieties to help them pollinate each other. But I finally got to replanting these. After four years, they were ready to fruit this year. Last year they got like one or two little berries on them, so I knew they were well rooted ready to be in a big planter to fruit this year. And what I did was I got these whiskey barrels. Yes, they're made out of a resin, but I've tried blueberry plants before in the ground um, from another source, and they're just too finicky for me. So what I did was I dedicated planters for blueberries, and I researched the best ways to to plant them. So what I did was I drilled plenty of holes in the bottom of this planter. I put one inch of drainage rock at the bottom. Then I did about two inches of about an equal ratio of perlite and peat moss. Then I did another like inch of, uh, with compost perlite. And then I topped the rest off and backfilled the plant in with um, a special potting soil for blueberries. Um, it was like blueberry success mix from the gurneys. You could use any kind of acid loving potting soil, but that is what you want around the whole root ball that you actually transplant into the big container. The rest of the perlite and peat at the bottom with the drainage rocks, that is to allow all the moisture to be retained but to also drain nicely because blueberry plants do not like their roots sitting in water. They like a lot of water, but they like it to all drain very nicely and evenly out throughout the plant. Um, and then what I did was I just topped it off with some pine needles with a little pine cone decoration. <laughs> but the pine needles were actually from last, um, the last time my town did their their leaf collection, pine, you know, all that kind of brush collection. I literally went around to my neighbors that had pine trees and I collected <laughs> wheelbarrows full of pine needles and pine cones that I've been saving that I'll use for mulch for obviously these blueberry plants because blueberries love acid loving materials and pine needle will raise the acidity of the soil. Um, so that's actually another great tip. Whenever your town has fall cleanup or brush cleanup, just drive around and see what people are putting away. I collect all the leaves from my neighbors that I know do not spray with chemicals or anything like that. And I just save them. <laughs> that's it. And if you see, oops, sorry, they're actually starting to butt out. And that's my dear loving Samson who loves those blueberries and is actually eating blueberries right now for dinner. <laughs>